about that band, huh? Hey, isn't that something? What's, hey, they're great, aren't they? What's the name? What's What's the name of the band? What's the name of the band? You really, you really want to go to New Orleans bad, don't you? The New Orleans Jazz Band. Yes. Are you from New Orleans? Argentina. You're from Argentina. Uh huh. But you just want to be in New Orleans so bad. <laughs> you hope to go there? What y'all gonna do when y'all get there? Just start playing? Eddie. Huh? We've told them this is New Orleans. <laughs> 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 that's why we uh, that's why we had the Spanish moss in the dressing rooms and oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I'll have another uh, an, another zombie um, oh, I, I was thinking about something thinking about your age and I read somewhere com somebody writing a piece about black comics and they said Richard Pryor was 27 when Martin Luther King was killed and Eddie Murphy was Six? I mean, died in 68. Is that possible? I was seven. Seven, yeah. yeah. Now, it's funny how, how you almost, people almost think of you two as contemporaries, and, well, you are contemporaries, but I mean, it's a, and that Pryor is that much older than you are, so that their whole world of references is his work that presumably would go over your head because they're back before. What's, who's the first president you're conscious of remembering clearly? Kennedy. Yeah. I was like three. I remember when Kennedy got killed. I remember like, I remember, I remember that whole, I remember people like crying and all that stuff. Then I remember, I remember from Kennedy on, yeah. Did they tell you what it was about? I, I mean, was three, isn't there? You gotta sit down and go, little baby, listen. <laughs> <laughs> the president's been shot. <laughs> and a little three year old's gonna go, oh no! I guess the laughter is about the fact that that was a dumb question. <laughs> <laughs> mm. No, but I can imagine your, your parents saying, I want you to remember that. I know a lady who was held up when she was a baby and said, now take a good look at that man in white. That's Mark Twain. Someday you'll remember this. And, and she vomited. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, but she remembers that clearly, that, that man in the white suit. You'll want to remember. It's Mark Twain. Have you ever read Mark Twain? No. you like to read Mark Twain? Not a drop. <laughs> See, that's too bad, because he, you and he are two of our great comic talents in various ways. You'd love Huckleberry Finn. Oh, I've seen it. <laughs> On I the shelf? No, I mean, I've seen the movie. Oh, seen the movie, yeah. Are you offended by the word nigga in it? Why? Why? <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> Did I say that? I, He's sorry. like possessed. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's just that there's a big flap in various parts of the country where people want that you know, great you American novel that, taken yeah. off the shelves because of the word nigger, nigger Jim is a character. I thought it, you were saying the various parts of the, various parts of the country that, where they enjoy hearing someone say that on television. <laughs> no, 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 no. This no. is cable. No, like I was sitting in Memphis like this. I like that, Kevin, boy. <laughs> Nigger right in front of us. <laughs> I don't like it. Nigger sitting two inches away. He's just looking at us. Oh <clears throat> no. <laughs> no, I, I you, you know me better than that. I mean, the fact that I've done shows with George Wallace, the Le uh, Lester Maddox, and yet we're friends. And I think that's what America's all about. Mm -hmm. Is that right, folks? <laughs> I've always wanted to see that on a show, you know, no applause. I mean, I think this is one of the great countries and that parents would spend more time with their children. Isn't that right, folks? And nothing, no applause. But um, I, I did show once you'd have enjoyed because uh, I guess it was but Lester Maddox, then a famous racist, walked off the show because he felt that I had insulted him and the people of Georgia. And the fact that Jim Brown and Truman Capote were the other two guests may have had something to do yeah, with Lester this Maddox, Jim Brown and Truman Capote. Yeah, that was a good <laughs> Three to hard way. <laughs> I wonder how old you were when that was on. That would have been 73. Um, and I was born 61. I was yeah. 12. 
You probably weren't watching my show every night. Not a drop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was what, 12 years old. Was I, I was going to see Bruce Lee movies at, at Roosevelt. Ooh, man. Clint, oh, man, when oh. Bruce Lee used to come to the Roosevelt Theater, we'd get it to the Hess Station and see Bruce Lee. Oh, yes. I feel that bad was my idol when I was. Bad. I know, and I upset you badly once, and I feel bad about that. Oh, yeah, Bruce Lee rumor? Yeah. I don't believe that. Do, huh? That's not true. What about? You know what you said. I don't want to say it again, but you know rumors you always, you know, room, put it this way, you know rumors you always hear about people and you go, him? Nah, one of those rumors. <laughs> not nice to his mother. Yeah, but. That's not true. Have it your way, Eddie. Not Bruce. Bruce was bad, <laughs> man. Uh, uh, Bruce Lee and Elvis Presley, those are guys that I was like, coming yeah, up. Yeah, Presley was your, well, I like Presley too. Of course, I knew him when he was young, young Presley, when he first came along in the days when Ed Sullivan shot him from the waist up, you know, because they didn't dare show his gyrating hips that thought it might turn on. I got on a turned on to Presley from his movies. That's when I got into oh, sure, Elvis Presley. I was a Presley fiend. Yeah. I still think Elvis Presley is like the coolest entertainer that ever lived. Like, he's just cool. Because the man is from the South. This is a guy is like, he's like from the South, and you would never know it to mm -hmm. see his film. This guy, he's a really cool guy, Elvis Presley. <laughs> Not saying but that Southerners aren't cool, but you know this. Elvis was from, with Tupelo. Tupelo, Mississippi. Yeah. Now that guy, there's a guy like, back in when Elvis was, there was no shoes in Tupelo. <laughs> this guy is like a they real, one. real hip, one shoe. Yeah. Because uh, there was no shoe business, or no business like shoe business in Tupelo. See how you try for a joke and miss it. Listen, <laughs> my my wife's relatives though can remember. Really bad joke, Kevin. That was a bad one. Yeah. My wife's relatives can remember the following. Hearing on a hot summer day a voice say, Elvis Presley, you get off that fence with that guitar and get inside and do some work. Your wife knew Elvis Presley? Uh, he, well, he was in Tupelo, right? And when she was relatives of hers and they were in that Elvis era, Presley, and, get off that fence with Elvis, that guitar? You get off that fence and do some work. You go and wash your hair. Wash your hair? Yeah. <laughs> you are the laziest bower. I mean the laziest bower. Your, your wife is from Tupelo? She doesn't talk like that, but she's... she's and she from, knew Elvis? No, she's from Greenwood in the, in the Delta. And wow. Elvis was... Yeah, he was the kid on the fence who was supposed to go in and do... Isn't that something? Do some work. Yeah. <laughs> As Bob Hope would say, hey, isn't that something? <laughs> um, you know what I... Oh, they all so ready. Many things See, I they got their horns like this. <laughs> <laughs> They must have sensed that I was running down or something. When, when we get back, I want you to show me why, when I danced at the at Bentley, even with the lights as low as they are in there, in, in silhouette, they could tell I was white. <laughs> you know what I mean by that? We'll be right, right back, right after this word from... Yeah. What, did they, what kind of commercial? Uh, local station. Or <laughs>